get there, you'll understand. I'll come back for you. Jonas! So watching this movie, it's so stylized that I wondered like, oh, is a lot of this computer generated or whatever? But then I realized that a lot of the creepy set pieces are real. I was wondering how creepy it was to be on set sometimes, if you were weirded out by the world of The Giver. Not really, because we were shooting in such a beautiful location. And it was very, um, in this community, is it's manufactured. But in real life, it was South Africa, you know? It's as raw as, it's one of the rawest countries I've ever been to. Um, and so it was quite the opposite, actually. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't find anything really creepy. I think so too. We are such in such beautiful locations. And just agreeing with everything you're saying. I'm not going to yeah. restate it. So <laughs> yes, I confirm. So how much of the movie did you actually spend soaking wet? I assume it was quite a, a long time. A lot, because that scene was shot from so many angles. Because not only did we have to get all of that inside, but then they built the triangle from the outside, and then they needed to do everything from how Meryl watches it. So. We were, I think by the end of it, we weren't even saying our lines because we'd done it so many times and they were do. I mean, like, for when they were doing the takes from, from really wide because they can't see us. Mm -hmm. we just done it so many times. I think I knew all his lines by then. Was that, like, a, a dreadful experience? <laughs> Having no. to do that again and again and again? I mean, Phil, Phil doesn't make it dreadful because he always tells you to approach it in a different way. He really just, he knows how to get the best out of you and just to pull... The, the greatest performances, so he's just, he's pulling out different, different colors out of you. Can we talk about your interactions with Meryl Streep in this movie? Was she mostly a disembodied voice you were dealing with for the, for the most part, or was she ever in, there in person with you? Uh, both. Yeah. She was mostly a voice and mostly um, a, a presence because she's a hologram in the film, and so in order to shoot that, we had to shoot her in front of a green screen and program the computer, um, and so at a later date, we would shoot you know, the, the scenes with the community um, with that exact same camera move. So it was quite a technical process. Um, but yeah, we did get the chance to um, swap some words. I would say, what was it like reacting to just her voice? I imagine that would be a very booming, the, her voice alone would be a booming presence. Were was you, it Phil that did it sometimes? Well, the truth <laughs> was, is that we had a fantastic, um, she, she has a fantastic stand-in, a oh, South yeah, African Fiona. lady called Fiona Ramsey. Fiona Ramsey. And so a lot of my scenes, um, would be to her voice, you know, and she has this great, strong voice. Um, so yeah, so we, we had someone to improvise with and oh. play around with. How oh, nice. Yeah. I was wondering, what was the most emotional scene to film that maybe you were, you have no choice but to sort of get wrapped up in the emotion as you're filming it? Um, for me, there's a scene where, um, where I have a speech in my, in my jail cell and I'm, and I'm telling Katie, I'm telling Katie, the mother, that I've seen things and I've felt things and the, this community is really cruel. And that was just, I think, it was just really draining that entire day because we started off just saying that we, we did it in so many ways and it, by the end of it, it just became such an, I think I was just an emotional wreck by the end. Because Phil likes, I think Phil likes to try everything. So when you, when you start off, I think it was just really strong and direct and by the end of it, she was just weeping. So, I think we met somewhere in the middle. That's what ended up making the film. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.